and action. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi. We just finished our soba noodle salad video and today was a toughie. There are times where there's technical difficulties or I don't know, weird stuff, right? But this time it was literally just because of me. You know, you start off not being able to form your words and you get tongue tied. And those of you who make YouTube videos, I'm sure you can relate to this, right? Like there are the moments where you just have like nothing to say. You just feel like I could say nothing of importance right now. I don't know how many times I did that intro by the pantry. I did that scene like six times, seven times, which is so weird because usually I'm like one and done or like maybe at the most like two, three times of like really trying. This time it was really awful. So if you're look, uh, it's light, refreshing, and satisfying at the same, okay. So if you're looking for something that's easy to whip up, put a pot of boiling water on your stove and go. Oh. You know what it was? I think it was because we were originally supposed to film on Monday and today is Saturday. So we pushed our schedule up like two days ahead of time. Because Monday, it's like supposed to be really hot here. And so we wanted to kind of beat the heat. Mm -hmm. And so just decided to film a couple of days early. Yeah. And so like I didn't really have that much time to prepare as I usually would. I mean, that extra one or two days really helps because I have time to write a script. And then we also usually shoot our ingredients board in the beginning, you know, that we've shown you in other vlogs and the title page the night before. Um, and we do that on purpose because then we don't have to scramble on the day of. But today we scrambled. Yeah, we scrambled like eggs because seriously, <laughs> like, eggs. <laughs> like it was really like we decided to do everything today, this morning. And so then it was a really long day because by the time we actually finished with the titles and ingredients board, it was like three o'clock in the afternoon. We had a late start today, so we had to shoot the um, overhead title page part and the ingredients board. And now it's past lunchtime and we didn't even start yet. And we never shoot that late where you start at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So it was just really tiring, I think. But how do you think that the shoot went for you? Well, it was fine. I mean, overall it went okay. It was just long and unrehearsed and uh, mm. but the food came out really good i kept so. getting distracted too like um our windows would be open and like do you hear that car alarm going off right now like weird stuff like that would happen like i'd be like doing something and then all of a sudden i see a dog running around playing outside i get so distracted here sometimes plop How do you think the footage came out though, regardless of me being tongue-tied and taking so many cuts and not getting it together? Uh, I think, it, I mean, it came out pretty well. Um, I have yet to see the real clips because when I'm filming, I'm paying attention to making sure it's recording, you know, just the composition and everything. So I'm focused more on that stuff instead of the actual, like what she talks about or, mm -hmm. um, you know, like all the other stuff. So uh, it's hard to, so I have to go and relook at everything that uh, we've done and, and see how the overall thing came out. But yeah, like sometimes I like exactly what he said. Sometimes I wish that there was like a third person here because like there's like me who's like concentrating on actually cooking the food and making sure it works. It comes out and then also coming up with something clever to say and then also making sure my words make sense. So I'm only focusing on that, so I don't really get to like focus if my hair is like a skew like this, or I don't know if it's a bad angle, or if we didn't get all the shots we needed. And obviously, I can't see what he's recording, so I'm just like having faith that he's catching all of the moments. And then with him, he has to make sure that the lighting is right and there's no harsh shadows. And then like we caught the right angles at the right moments. Like if I sizzled something in the pan, he got that sizzle, and you know things like that. So like there's no like extra person to kind of calm us down and direct us and like show us like oh you missed the shot or maybe you should do this Done. i don't know i need to say more stuff at the end what should i say no suggestions it's like all a surprise by the time we go back and watch the footage so even though right now since we just came off the shoot i'm feeling pretty horrible about it um who knows like maybe when we actually put it together right, and, and the editing, 
like if he ca if he caught the right stuff and we cut out all my ums and buts and like what am I gonna say next and those kind of moments, then maybe it still came out good. But it always comes out good. Yeah. <laughs> so, so no matter how rough the day could be, like yeah, good, you know, good recipe, you know, no matter how many takes it was, we still got it. So. I think the last time I had this much difficulty in terms of me being the problem was our easy shrimp pad thai, right? Just that was a lot of footage and I think this one will have a lot of footage, so... A lot of wasted footage and they're not even like good bloopers, right? Because it's just like me being all angry. Because <laughs> you know how it is, don't you beat yourself up when you, when you can't do it right? When I step away from the moment, I'm like, dude, it wasn't that big of a deal, just calm down, it's not that big of a deal. But in the moment, you just feel like the lights on you, the cameras on you, you feel like everything's so permanent. And um, I don't know, so I think that like when it's stuff like this where I'm just like talking to you guys, so natural, it just flows and it's fine. But whenever I'm like teaching, like I have so much added pressure, but- Well, I'm the opposite way. I have a hard time talking to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, we started switching to this style of vlogging because this is more of like a personable way to kind of explain how we feel um, or how the shoot went in our eyes um, and see what you thought. But anyways, if you try this recipe, you can look at the video um, on our other channel, um, Chef Julie Yoon videos, and the recipe is called Soba Noodle Salad. Um, it's delicious, it's light, refreshing, and I think you'll really like it, and it'll be like a go-to recipe because it is really quick to whip up. It's really good, great for like summer and warm days. Yeah, so. yeah, so um, yeah, well, that's what we're gonna eat soon, right after this actually. And um, if you do make it, remember to let us know by showing us by using the hashtag Chef Julie Yoon. On Twitter, um, Instagram. <laughs> Google Plus, uh, Facebook. So we actually search for it. And then you can also tag us at Joe Yoon at Julie Yoon for our Instagram, and then we'll be able to catch that and we'll see that. Um, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching our video and this behind the scenes, even though we don't have a lot of extra footage for you. Um, we'll leave you with some bloopers if we can find some that are actually not me being angry. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll leave that for you. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, remember to let us know by pushing like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to our channel. Thank and we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> no. right. A little low, eager beaver this time. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. The peppers not only add a sweet the peppers not only add a co- I kind of feel like I'm working at a salon and washing someone's hair. <laughs> Is that weird? You can always substitute by using any kind of white-based vinegar. You can use rice wine vinegar. Ah. So I'm just gonna plate it up and give it a taste. <laughs> I did it again.